Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I am going to the Manchester Opera House to see Chicago. Um, it's been a very long time since I last saw Chicago. I think it's been about 10 years, I'm not quite sure, but it's been a long time since I last saw Chicago so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm going on my own, Lawrence isn't coming with today, he's staying with the children and I'm going by myself. I'm set in the gallery, uh, which is the top tier. I think I paid £21 for my ticket. There wasn't any £13 ones left when I bought it um, because I wasn't able to buy them straight away. I had to wait till I knew what day Lawrence was off and the only ones that they had left by then was a £21 ticket. So I paid £21 for this ticket. I'll obviously show you my view, show you the leg room. I'll show you the view, show you the leg room, show you any merch they've got and then obviously I'll review it once I get home. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little vlog. Just missed one as I got here. Seven minutes till the next one, so not too long. Oh, my face is so, so wet today. So seven minutes to wait. So it's now half six. Just got off the tram at St. Peter's Square. Just gonna walk down to the theatre. Takes about ten minutes. Might pop in the shop, get some sweets or something, and then head in. So I'll get back to you once I'm at the theatre. So I've just arrived at the theatre now, just here, and I think it's just gone half six, so I'm going to head in, show you all the merch and stuff. I'm just in the auditorium now. Just gonna find my seat. I think it's this one. Okay, so this is the view from my seat. I think it's quite good. Not too bad. And then this is the leg room. It said leg room for leg room on the ticket, but. I don't think it's too bad. So it's now I think 20 past, so about 10 minutes till it starts. I'm going to have a quick flip through my program. Before it starts. <laughs> so it is now the interval. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I'll get back to you now.
I am now back from the theatre. Had some really good time. It's a really good show. Um, I think I mentioned in my intro that we were, I was sat in the gallery. I was sat on row G, seat 41. So it's an aisle seat. And yeah, I thought it was a good view from there. Um, there was there was enough leg room. It said limited leg room on the ticket, but I thought the leg room was fine. And yeah, I would I would sit there again for a show. And I think I paid twenty one pounds something for the ticket, uh, which isn't too bad. But I do prefer if I'm sat in the gallery. I only pay thirteen pounds, but because the show was so popular, there wasn't very many seats left, so I didn't have much of a choice of where to sit. Um, but yeah, for that seat was good. So if you don't know too much about the story of Chicago, set in the 1920s, its main character, Roxy Hart, is a housewife uh, slash dancer. I think she works in nightclubs, nightclub dancer. And she ends up shooting her lover. Um, she's married, but she has a lover on the side. And she ends up shooting him because he wants to leave her. And then she ends up going to prison gets a lawyer who sort of sensationalizes it, um, making like big headlines in the paper which sort of gets her sort of famous and it's about her like an obsession with fame and stuff and yeah it's just really good and in prison she meets Velma Kelly um, and she is another murderess, she murdered her, well she's supposed to have murdered her husband and sister because they're supposed to be having an affair. Um, and that is a very that is base that is the basic story of Chicago. Um, the actual production of Chicago it doesn't really have anything set wise. It's basically a clear stage with the band uh, on it, and then they bring a few props on, uh, like chairs and and stuff. It's not like a. It's definitely not like a Les Mis with all the big big sets and everything. It's done with very little set pieces um, just props um, but it seems to work it, the story works it's very good acting to get the story across without any sets or anything or and very few props uh, I thought the acting was really good they really got the story across um, I think my favorite song is Selbok Tango I've always liked that one I think that they performed it so well I really enjoyed it but I actually also really enjoyed Song that I don't usually like listen too much on the CD or anything, but it being performed was really really good. Reach for the Gun, where Billy Flynn uses uh, Roxy as like a puppet, um, and yeah, I just think it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, so I really enjoyed all the dancing in the show. There's lots of dancing. Um, obviously, it's like set in the 1920s, so I think they had like a bit of tap dancing and. Yeah, just I really enjoyed all the dance numbers. It was fun to watch. Um, also for the show, most of the cast seem to sit at the side of the stage on the seats. So you can always see some of the cast down the side of the of the stage. So playing the main characters, um, main characters Roxy Hart and Velma Kelly. So Roxy Hart was played by Faye Brook and Velma Kelly was played by, by Delenga Scott. They were the, they're the main two characters in the show. So they did have a bit of merch for the show. I think I did film it. I saw they had a hoodie, a t-shirt, a tote bag, a mug. Um, I think they had key ring. Um, they had the Chicago album. And they were supposed to have magnets, but they obviously didn't have any in as usual. So I couldn't buy my magnet. Um, they had mugs. But I've already got a Chicago mug, so I didn't need another one. And obviously programs, so they had the like brochure program, and then they had the house program. So I got this, this was five pounds. So I'll give you a quick look through here. Okay, so this is the front of the program, it just says Chicago the musical. And inside, as with all the opera house um, programs, it just tells you some of the upcoming shows coming to the opera house. Then it tells you a bit about the opera house itself. Then you've got some adverts with some upcoming shows. And then you've got a article here. Um, the true story behind Chicago. And 
I think that's the same article. And then you've got your um, cast biography of your main cast. Here we've got Faye Brooks. Um, she's been in things such as The Sound of Music. She's played Fiona in Shrek. Um, she's been Elle in Legally Blonde. And she's also been Frenchie in Greece. So she's done quite a few musicals there. Then Talanga Scott. She played Velma Kelly. She was really, really good. I really loved her voice actually for Velma. I thought she was really good. And the same as Roxy, she had a great voice as well. She's been in Chicago before. She's been in Rest Side Story, Rocky Horror. She's been in Fame. So, yeah, again, quite a few musicals. Then we had Sheila Ferguson playing Mama Morton. Um, She's most famous for being in the Three Degrees uh, girl band in the 1970s. Uh, that's what she's most famous for. And we have Jamie Boren. I'm not sure how you say his second name. Um, he played Amos. And he has been in Kinky Boots, Wind in the Willows. He's been in Chicago before. So that's just some of the things he's been in theatre wise. Then, then we have B.E. Wong and they played Mary Sunshine. And the next page we've got a nice cast photo. And then on the next page you have your information so you've got your cast. with the understudies, technical staff, and then this side you've got your musical numbers, so you've got all that jazz, funny honey, cell block tango, when you're, when you're good to mama, top dance, all I care about, a little bit of good, we both reach for the gun, Roxy, I can do it alone, and my own best friend, Two, I think all the good songs that I really like are in Act One. Um, I do like most of the songs in Act One. Act Two, you've got I Know a Girl, Me and My Baby, Mr. Cellophane, When Velma Takes a Stand, Razzle Dazzle, Class Nowadays, Hot Honey, Rog. And yeah, Act One is definitely my favourite for songs. And then we've got the bios of the rest of the cast. I'm just going to show you them. I'm not going to go through them, but I'll just quickly show you them. You've got a little page in here showing the merchandise you can get. And then you've got like your directors and like in design and all the other people involved with a production. And then you've just got some adverts, I think, for the rest of it. That's pretty much it for the program. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. I really enjoyed it. I had a nice time. Like I said, it's not one of my favourite musicals. There are a lot of good songs in this one. And I enjoy the story as well. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Oh,